mkutano ni mkutano na namna gani tunajiunga na Clifford Marion Ndimbo yeye atatupitisha katika kila ambacho kiajiri kutokea hapa. Good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to the press conference for the CAF Confederation uh, CAF uh, second leg match Simba versus Ahal Triple. We have the head coach from Simba Sports Club uh, accompanied by the uh, team captain uh, Mohamed Hussein. Uh, coach Tomorrow it is the must win game to qualify to the uh, group stage of our CAF Confederation Cup. How is the preparation? I think we, we first have got to give uh, credit to Al Ahli Tripoli. Uh, they've really invested in their squad once they qualified for this CAF competition, signing big players, captains from their respective clubs. And they gave us a really tough game, uh, not only on the pitch but off the pitch as well. Made it really uh, intimidating for us, uh, for our players. Five, six players uh, in the starting lineup, first time playing in, at a level like this. So it was a new experience, and I was quite uh, happy with uh, the defensive display, uh, the fight, the grit from our team. I think before we have shown we are a very good team with the ball, and now we've shown uh, that we do have the character to, to fight as a unit without the ball. Uh, and this makes for a very interesting tie when we come here to Benjamin Kappa in relation to how they are going to approach the match, but also in relation to how we're going to approach the match. So, I'll call coach, questions to the head coach, Simba Sports Club, Desi Padru. Hi. Yeah, coach. Uh, my name is Anikaz Kundemba from Radio Faraja from the in Shinyanga. Uh, the first leg is done. Now we are going to move for the second leg at the home ground. How much have you prepared your squad for the four C's? That means uh, communication, compactness, compactness wise, uh, creativity, and uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, very important to to understand what type of match uh, they gave us there, and their approach to the match was of of course to 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 score. It was our approach to first of all keep a clean sheet away from home. Uh, we couldn't achieve our second objective, which was to score an away goal. Um, but now, of course, we have to be very careful in relation to not conceding an away goal because every goal they score, we have to score two. Uh, but that does not mean that uh, we cannot play the same type of match that we played in, in Tripoli. So it's going to be a different game with new dynamics. Uh, they've analysed us now, I think, in detail in relation to the first match. But is that really our playing style? We played uh, that side. Uh, what type of setup we are going to have in this match? I think they don't uh, really understand us too much, so we'll be quite a close book in relation to them. But uh, how we're going to approach the match is very balanced in relation to how we attack, how we defend, as usual. Uh, and then, of course, it's on the day to be able to see which team deserve to be in the group stage. Normally, a match of this caliber. Uh, is normally in your quarter-final, semi-final, or two, two giants uh, coming up against each other. But now this tie is only to see who qualifies for group stage. And both teams not only want to qualify for group stage, both teams are in it to win this competition. So this is definitely the, the tie of the competition. And uh, hopefully the best team win, and hopefully the best team is Samba. Other question? Hi, Coach. Hi. Yes, my name is Abdullah Abdullah from Simba Fans TV. And as we know, Simba has great fan base in Africa. And ahead tomorrow time, what do you expect from the fans? Uh, I expect the fans, uh, I think everybody has seen the footage. I don't expect our fans to throw them with bottles. Uh, no. I don't expect our fans to, be, uh, to make threatening uh, uh, gestures towards them. No. I expect our fans to be behind us. Uh, every tackle, they should hear the, the roar of the, of the crowd. Uh, every transition, every attack, the fans should be behind us. When things are not going well, the fans should be there to push us uh, because we cannot do it alone. 
we need that 12th uh, player on the pitch and that is the fans voice behind us pushing us because the game is not always uh, going to go smooth sailing there's going to be ups and downs in the games there are going to be moments where we have to suffer uh, without the ball there's going to be moments hopefully more moments where we are on top trying to score and uh, in each they have to play the game with us they have to be there with every tackle with every situation we have the ball every situation we don't have the ball and I know what I've experienced so far. We have the best fans in the world. Uh, really, the Simba fans have really been behind us. But we expect them to be more than double on this game because they know how important this match is to us. Two more questions. I need the new first. Two more questions. It's only Yasin Zamiru uh, that is out. He's still struggling with his foot injury. He hurt himself in the, in the friendly match against Ali Lal. Uh, hopefully by next week he will be back training, otherwise a, a fully fit squad. Uh, the pressure of the match is, is something I have to deal with as a coach. I try to keep the pressure away from the players because we need the players to perform. We need the players to be at the best version of themselves. So. Uh, yes, there, there are a lot of uh, expectation for us not only to qualify but to win this tournament, but I need my players to really play their football. Uh, playing their football is what we've been training all this time, Tra playing their football, what has made us good, has uh, put us where we are at the moment in terms of our growth and we will just continue in that stride. One last question. What kind of uh, tactic are you going to use? Maybe attacking more, defending, or what? I think at the moment uh, this is the uh, footage that the coach is going to watch. <laughs> and it's not a moment uh, where I'm going to disclose in relation to, to how I'm going to approach the game. The objective at the end of the day is to qualify. And the objective is to win the match. If it does not uh, work that we win, penalties is the next stop. Um, so in all details, in all aspects of our preparation, tactically, how are we going to approach the game? The players understand the game plan. The players understand all the details, what is required uh, in relation to manage the game, whether we are a goal behind, whether we are a goal ahead, whether we are two or, or two ahead. Uh, so we know exactly how we're going to approach the match from a tactical point from a psychological point from uh, an emotional point because uh, this game is there are so many different facets to the game and we have to be prepared in all facets uh, uh, in relation to us qualifying for the match so our team is well prepared we're in a very good space mentally we're in a very good space in relation to what we've come from in tripoli and we're ready uh, on all fronts to be able to qualify for the next round Thanks, Coach. Uh, exchange position.